Hell nah. I feel like kick push is about to start. <laughs> Turn my mic up. I need some snare in my headphones. Oh, no. You don't get no fucking snare. I don't nigga. know if it's my mic or my headphones, but I need snare. You don't get no fucking snare. Give me some nigga. fucking volume. We back in this bitch. Give me some motherfucking volume. Can you guys hear me? Y'all niggas don't yeah, know. Okay. That was a lot of guys. Yeah, why they niggas shooting? Oh, y'all want it oh, all, nigga. I won't oh, leave a breadcrumb. Oh, turn, turn my headphones up. Turn them up. <laughs> hey. There we go. Nah, he smoked this album, though. What? Man. 21. Y'all niggas know, man. 22. Let's restart this shit, though. We back in the speed. <laughs> That's the old nigga dance. Why you got his arms? Appreciate it. We back another week, another episode. Be wild, be the podcast. I am your twenty-one. Very humble host. Twenty-one. Regular Ja. Bang, bang, bang. Now let that shit run, nigga. That shit rock, man. Intercontinental Kyle, eighty proof, whatever you feel like calling me today. Your Majesty, a marijuana, the Prince Pot. King of Chronic, we outside today. And this is me, a little fatty, or Pam, or whoever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit was so light. <laughs> little fatty. Y'all know who it is. Where the fuck? Sparky, we got a guess with us. We got a guess in sitting Cutler. in here with us. Sparky P. Cutler. I need to ask you about Sparky that. Introduce P. yourself. Fucking Cutler. Yeah, it's your boy DJ Crazy Swagger, but tonight I'm going by Reese. Oh, all right. It's Reese. That nigga get y'all his government. The That's government. crazy. Man. Crazy shit. He said it like it was an announcement. Like <laughs> niggas don't Reese. even know me. It's Reese. Yeah. Like he just changed his whole identity. Niggas don't. Real quick. Niggas don't <laughs> like, like that's Bro, that nigga name. I've been in clubs. No, this nigga's just. I've been in clubs for <laughs> fifteen <laughs> years. I know mad DJs and niggas by their nicknames. You ask me what their government yeah. is, can't tell you. Nope. <laughs> no, like if somebody be like, you seen who? What do they call that nigga on the streets? <laughs> oh, that nigga, yeah. I know, yeah, I know that nigga. That's I my dog. I don't know Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I know B Killer. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what James. the fuck is up, man? Hi, y'all. We back. It's been a while. Hey. It's been a while. That's we've been a while. <clears throat> this week is strong. Yes. <clears throat> good for you. So good. Mm. He finally upgraded to Reggie. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, Get him, he, Get him, he's Kyle. trying to. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to goddamn... There's no need to Get even address it because anybody who's ever smoked with me or smoked around... Has never knows, smoked with you again. Has, that bullshit. <laughs> like, has never smoked with you again. No, he on that bullshit. Why am I hot? I need to stop drinking. Nah. That's some Labo? Yeah. You got the Labo back? Mm-hmm. That 03 Labo? Right. I carried it from 03 <laughs> and I got found this bag in the, in the car. That 03... That shit was different, though. That 03 Labo, that was... I don't even know what that means. Best means you ever have in your life. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no idea what that Back means. when Arizona was popping. <laughs> Best meals you would ever have in your life. But man, yo, but nah, we was that 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 twenty one shit. That shit is rocking though. You smoked that album. Did you hear it? No, I've heard like snippets, but I haven't heard the whole thing. You ain't hear that shit yet. Mm-mm. Smoked the album. It's good. Yeah. Nah, he <clears throat> he fucked that shit up. And you know, I don't even listen to whole albums. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that shit. <clears throat> I fuck with it, man. Um. So yeah, man, so much shit happened. Did it? <laughs> we since we last we, left. We in a new year? <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, motherfuckers. Um, facts. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean the crazy shit though, like we missed a lot of content too. Mm-hmm. It might have been for the better, because we would have we'd have fucked around and got canceled if we were shooting around I the time all that canceled. all the diddy shit <laughs> shit was happening. Oh no, we still gotta oh. talk about Bishop T D Jakes. <laughs> Have you ever been? <laughs> yes, Bishop, I have. And everything reminds me of her. That'd have been the one time. I... <laughs> <laughs> and, every, and everything reminds me of her. I can't stand to relate to shit in church, but he'd have said that. I'd be like me. I have. <laughs> yes, Lord. I called on Jesus when she did it. <laughs> Got the whole Holy Ghost. Why do we call on the Lord when we fucking? That is crazy. <laughs> I don't know, but it's disrespectful. But he, but he made it. He knew nah, what was about to happen. I'm a, yeah, we should stop doing that because if that nigga fuck around and call you home. In the middle. <laughs> don't worry, I got you. I'm going to save you. Man, that, that would be one time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Dude. Yep, that's it. Party over. I'm going to be in heaven mad as hell. You know what you do? 
When she calling on God, just look in her eyes and tell her God can't save you now. <laughs> oh, my God. You got to choke her when you yeah. say that shit, too. Like, God here. can't save you now. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get out of here. <laughs> you used to do some shit like that. She's going to she gonna start screaming the safe word. <laughs> she, she ain't taking that risk. She's she, like, oh, no, nah, this nigga on some other shit tonight. She's going to come instantly, I promise you. It works every time. <laughs> wow. Because in her mind, she's like, yo, I'm trying to get this nut off for this nigga kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever works. I ain't about to be dead and still backed up too. I need Damn. a rag. I am hot. Yeah, I definitely need my fat nigga rag. You was one of uh. I couldn't even do it. I'm hey Brock, we love you, man. But Brock got a box of shirts over there. Nice. <laughs> oh, That's wild, crazy. Nah, I would never. No, it's not. No, I'm definitely not gonna do that to my brother's shirt. You can't hand me one of those shirts. Can you talk for one of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one'll probably be. That'll work. That'll probably look better on the camera. Or the, what you think, the black one? It don't even matter. Why is that so terrible? Wow. Shit. Impromptu promo. Damn, that's a nice hanger. It is a nice hanger. Some mighty nice hangers. Ah. Yeah, that nigga rock don't do In case shit. y'all can't see it. The Aloysius Brunswick. We out here. Go check it on Instagram. Check the yeah. website. Duh, and he has... He, he got mad different styles and shit, man. It's not just that. Like, he yeah, got... You got to grab your shit, man. <laughs> that Mount Beach boy. Yeah, you got the motherfucking Seaview Beach joints. Like, it's 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 some shit yeah, up my there. My brother definitely be on the shit, yo. And he got shit for ladies, too. That's a lot of black history involved with that clothing, yeah. too. A lot of it. Everything that he put out, you can, you can like, research it. Awesome and it, and it has history. something to do with something important in the black community. Or yeah. feet. Or still... Yeah, one of the two. It's it no may, in between. It may, yeah, it may have something to do with feet, too. <laughs> It's no in between, but yeah, man. Um, so we, what y'all want to start with, Lucci, or y'all want to start with this Ja Rule shit? What did Ja Rule do? Well, they snubbed him on the um on the the top fifty rappers of all time list, and he like felt like he should be up there. He felt like that shit was a snub. Is it a snub though? Mm. I mean, nah, it probably is. It depends on who you at. Like, so I right, when when people say top fifty rappers, because the goalposts always get moved, like. At one point, it's just bars and shit, and then it's, like, bars and impact, then it's just impact, then it's record sales. Like, what the fuck do niggas actually gauge these lists off of? Okay, what would you give him from 1 to 50 if you're going to put him in that 50? Where would you put him, honestly? I ain't billboard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, what am I gauging it off of, though? Whatever you from feel like. From 1 to 50. If you yeah, go like, from you 1 to like. 50 rappers. Is Ja Rule in the top rappers. 50 rappers? However you, to whatever you feel like categorizing So fucking trash. Being 50. He, in my top 50 rappers, <laughs> no. In the top 50, I could see that because he did he did do yeah, a lot of he did yeah, do a lot of shit before the whole you know G unit shit and the Fed shit came along. Yeah. So the nigga was on top for a, a nice run. I was gonna say I'd like to ask the DJ in the room. <laughs> nah, he won't be on my top 50. What you think he belongs in the top 50? Not your like personal said, it, it, one, it, but... It depends on what you're basing it off. Yeah, like, like you if you're basing mean? it off shit like sales and shit, of course. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if you're basing it off of, like, the artist itself, like, the the, the body of work and shit, to me, no. Vinny Vetti Vici was fire, though. Y'all do a lot of... Not y'all, I'm just saying people do a lot yeah. of this. It could be this, it could be that. Like, nigga, if you had to list your top 50 rappers, I don't what care what you... It? Yeah, I don't care what you're basing it off of, just your personal this, preference. I mean, yeah... I mean, all of these lists go off of, but, like, these is, like, lists of, like, companies that, like, supposed to have, like, a voice, and it's a team of motherfuckers that decide on these top 50 people. I'm not listening Still to a enough. bunch of old white people in the in room. <laughs> and that's mainly what I'm it is. Doing. Well, no, I think if it was a bunch of old white people, they would have put Ja up there. White people love Ja Rule. This is true. They do. This is true. <laughs> yeah. They Did do. Nelly make the list? I don't know. Where is this? I don't, like white people love I don't even too. look yeah. these shits up no more. supposed to list that. I was supposed to say. I'm not about to name my top 50 rappers. When uh, I put Ja Rule I'm gonna be in honest, it, though, I don't, I don't know 50 rappers. I would put Ja Rule in my top 50. That's a lot of fucking 50 is rappers. A lot of, I was like, 50 is a lot of fucking rappers. That's a lot of fucking like, rappers. I, ja like, like, I don't know 50, 50 rappers. Yeah. He might be like number 48 and a half, but he can make the list. Mm. With, with 50 being trash, almost like close to trash. 50 is like, I mean, you're here. <laughs> 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 I mean, you had two good songs. Who would I put as my fiftieth greatest rapper? Fiftieth, yeah, right. 
Everybody always asks you about the top five. No nigga, who's your fiftieth greatest rapper? Like, <laughs> and every nigga's top five, the same. The, the first four is always the same four niggas. It depends on the age. Group. It's not actually. This Biggie's not yeah. my top five. Mine either. But my man said some suspect shit in his songs. <laughs> <laughs> we not about to we not sorry. about to uh, bring uh, start sorry. that again. But sorry. while we're on the rap topic, did y'all see that uh the debate that who was it Common was having or that's been going around whether Drake is actually oh most deaf yeah most um, deaf if most, Drake is yeah. actually hip hop or is Drake a pop artist? They mm. they do. I will say for the record, we do play a few Drake songs and at work and Target at work yeah. at work at, at work. We, sorry, we, we, we do we don't give places <laughs> out here. We do uh we do play uh, a few Drake songs in rotation. Every day, <laughs> I think the nigga, it's about I, three of them. I think Drake is both. Yeah, that's how if I'm you, looking at it. If yeah. you really listen to Drake when it came out, Drake was a rapper. Like, I like original Drake, like old Drake. Was it so far gone or was that it? Yeah, so far was, gone. Yeah. See, Drake to me, he know how to make hits. Yeah, he's a hit maker. He's evolving with time, so he know, he's giving people what they want. So, I but mean, if you want to go like bar Drake. for bar with Drake, Drake can rap with you. I like Drake. I feel like Drake can really rap. But them songs in the stores do bar. they do be about that? You rap with with Cole on first person shooter. <laughs> um, no, but I've heard of rap with Jay on a, cut, on a couple tracks. He didn't out rap. Like, like is Drake hip hop? <laughs> the pause is the crazy part. Yeah, you gotta think about Drake it. is pop to me, in the sense like if I was in Target in Houston, at least I they gave him Drake Houston. Song. Feels like a lot of everybody his music played Houston. is <laughs> compatible with. He gave him Houston. They played most of Target Houston. No, all the songs are the same. He said it associates that associates that nigga with shopping. Commercial music. Or as or as Commercial you know, music. shopping with an edge. <laughs> in certain instances. <laughs> Fair. I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. I don't. It's, it's, I, I it's commercial, it. entertaining, <laughs> fun, it's good, shopping with formulaic music. That's if you listen to the songs that likeable they put music. On the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but is it, you know, I'm going to leave you alone. We're going to move. We're going to move on. Without um, question. I'm a fan <laughs> of conscious rap. Like most Dev, Talib, Kweli, I'm a big yeah. fan of them. Drake can rap with them. He can. Mm. If Drake in his bag, Drake can rap with the best of them. No, I, I, I don't deny the nigga's ability, but he don't really get in his bag a lot no more. Because getting in your bag doesn't make you money. Uh, he be in his feelings. He got the money now. And he still rap when he in his feelings. He, he, tell, he tells stories. And I'm going to tell you one thing, though. So it, it's more than just the money, yo, because after that um, that last project came, remember he re-released it with four new tracks with just all mm-hmm. rapping after, after Cole cooked them on that shit. Just to let y'all niggas know that I can really still rap. Yeah. But I'm doing these albums for the money. Yeah, man. I like Drake. I mean, I guess when you don't get your Adidas roll out, you <laughs> got to figure something out. So I'm going to go. <coughs> she likes Drake. I like Drake. I've always liked Drake before Drake was popular. I actually don't like any of Drake's commercial music. His commercial His music is all stuff nerves, I really but, like. But like, you take the song Churchill Downs with Jack Harlow. Like, nobody gives a fuck about Jack Harlow. But if you listen to Drake's <laughs> verse on Churchill Downs, it was a fire verse. Like, if I had to like rap for my life, I would have to rap like Ransom with like Lil Wayne and Drake. I would, I would live. How does that. That song go? It's old. That's what I'm saying. I it's know like, the name, but I'm just trying to remember how it goes. That's wild. I'm not going to do that for y'all right now because no, that's man. Right. It's old. No, it's that I'm shit. just kidding. Shut I'm not doing that. Shit. 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 But shit. if I had to, then I would, I would live. When we put like, the instrumental? No. That's but have you heard it before? Have you heard it? You've never heard Ransom with Drake I'm sure you have. It's old. I probably don't know that as the name. That's the only name it is. But it's old. You got to pull it up. I just can't remember how the song goes in my mind, but I'm sure I heard it. Cause it's probably not really rememberable. No, it is. No, I'm sure it is. Don't don't do that. Cause I feel like it's, I feel like Look the lyrics come in my head. Wayne Look probably smoked it. Man, I want you to spit it now. Oh my I god, can't I can't believe y'all were talking about so. ransom like that. That song was amazing. Oh my gosh. So y'all saying Ja Rule top eleven, niggas ain't fucking with him, and Billboard need to suck a dick because they should have ja put Ja Rule. Ja Rule's te- definitely top eleven on Murder Inc. <laughs> Cadillac tie has some heat though. Stop, <laughs> stop playing with my nigga Ja, man. He's definitely he definitely comes in second. Stop to a playing shot with Ja, man. Mm-hmm. Best motherfucking top motherfucking every list. Mm-mm. That nigga's not even the top fifty promoter. Did you see what he did to the fire festival, nigga? Yo, you see how he sandwiches? No, did you see how this nigga shuts down halftime shows, b? <laughs> Anytime yeah. a nigga buy out oh. the seats to your front row show, oh, you ready? 
All right, man. Let's move on though. Um, Lucci be home soon. Why? In April. FN Lucci. Yeah, that one. Keep that snitching ass nigga in in the court. <laughs> like keep so, him locked up. Well, he he, he, he took the plea deal. He apologized. He apologized for to the families and for snitching. No, he just apologized for. There's some shit you can't nah, apologize but for. I, so I don't know. So what did he snitch on? A sweet person. I didn't know he, he snitched. Apologized. Yeah, I didn't know he snitched. He like, I know he took the plea either. deal, but he I know told on thugging him. That's how that whole thug ball got rolled. Yeah. Oh, but the whole shit though. But him. like when they because um, they tried to kill the nigga in jail, and after that he decided to tell all the other previous times that he ran in with. Yeah, niggas. that's how the whole rental car shit. Oh, came to my understanding, I thought he uh, refused to cooperate after the third, like. I didn't know he like to say that it was them after they tried to kill the nigga. He started talking. Is it like it's in paperwork? Like I've seen the court documents. His name is there. Well, he be home soon. Uh, April. He worse couple, than yeah. he worse than Gunner. Couple months. So. Well, if he coming home, that means they gotta let Thug go. I mean, like looking at how all this shit is playing out. Y'all think he gonna get out? Because I think the plea deal was supposed to be for like what, like ten years or some shit like that. He been in it for what? Three but or I mean, four? of course you get the time sir. Yeah, but, but he did three or four. So. And the feds what sixty five percent of your time so. The feds is 85. 85 something. Yeah, I ain't never been in the yeah, feds. Like, I don't know. It <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's dark. <laughs> that's <what> <laughs> you, you got you got a pen pal in jail. Sorry, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds good. No, I'm trying to come home. No, that that's song's crazy. still wild though. So what exactly did he plead guilty to? That's crazy. And why did he get a chance to make? I don't understand it. I can't yeah. fuck with it. I'm still learning the shit. I just got home. I'm still like, learning I, all I the still, information. I still yeah. like his music. Like I said, once you I said that shit like you just got out the pen. I mean, that's what it feel like. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I just, <laughs> shit, nigga, I just can't. I was about to yeah, say, man, y'all I, niggas know everything. Y'all know yeah. shit before niggas on the street do. Uh, uh, once, I, once I seen that court documents with that man name in it about the stabbing in jail and going on and so forth, I was like, I can't fuck with it. Yeah, that's wild. Like your name is in paper yeah. and writing in black. I and mean, white. And he did. He did take the plea though, so he pled guilty. I mean, nothing wrong with taking a plea. You can take pleas all the time. No, no, I ain't saying that. Like, oh, yeah. that's an issue. I'm just saying, I'm just, that's just the information on like how he getting out. That nigga case too. been going on for four years. Like, he's just not able to take a plea. Because he apologized. Damn. Maybe they was working some. Maybe they was working some shit. Dave Hollister apologized in the song and it didn't work. That nigga said, "Sweet Abu Didi." Didi. <laughs> That was not Dave Hollister. Man. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, that was Donnell Jones. Darnell, whatever one of them is. <laughs> Donnell yeah, Jones, Jones, man. One of them is. Oh. Who the fuck? Why is Dave Hollister? Why? That's Baby Mama Drama. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that. Drama. He got some, he got some Baby shit, Mama too. Drama. I know it's one of them niggas. That Regardless, nigga the nigga didn't get his bitch back after he did the sweet Abu D and apologized. Cause ain't that no, was his ain't nobody taking you back after you say no fucking sweetie do dee dum dee dee. That album was fire though. <laughs> it was. <laughs> 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 that album was crazy. One of them niggas. Yeah. yeah Ruben pop- Sutter said sorry, and they left that nigga in 2004. That's the nigga said sorry. Big facts. Big Big facts. Facts. That's a fucking fact. <laughs> nigga, he said sorry, and they nice. left that nigga right back there in 2004. Damn. That was my shit, too. Apologies. Yeah, yeah, that was my shit in 2004. And then, like, they. Moral of the story, don't fucking say sorry. <laughs> don't say sorry. I wasn't apologizing for shit you guys before. <laughs> I did not feel that. Just because of that song, I just, man, I ain't apologizing. I was 18. Nothing. I didn't give a fuck about <laughs> nothing. Not a fucking <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> Y'all better take this how you get it. Mm. <laughs> for sure. But now, nah, um. Sweet as you did. What else happened? Uh, Kanye Ty Dollar Sign still ain't dropped the fucking album yet. Why? Who knows? They this is like the he's probably fourth nope. time they pushed it back. Well, maybe they're waiting on North because she's making a video. I did see North was up there and she yeah. smoked her verse. So maybe they just adding something to it. Did she really smoke her? They're verse probably back? adding like a uh, visuals to the. Are we just hyping her because she's? I'm hyped. I don't give a fuck. Girl. <laughs> I think they no, add visuals. We go to look for like no, lyrical jars. These bars equally. <laughs> <laughs> she smoked that shit. She don't get no pass because she nine. <laughs> I don't look her up. No, she, <laughs> nah, it's. They add in visuals, I think. I, I think it's her shit that wasn't really there. meant to be like no, lyrical no, sure, miracle. Yeah, it's sure. some party <laughs> shit. Yeah, you gonna I'm turn sure. up when that part come on? <laughs> no, it was and thing. I feel like she it was a diss on the Kim. Her, she ain't diss her wow. mama. Wow, not diss her mama. Hey, she be carrying the fuck out of her mama. So, uh, hey. You bugging? I be saying mad TikTok clips. She be going at Kim ass. That shit be funny as shit. Like in her face. 
That's just, I like mean, my, you gotta imagine. That's Kim con- in the middle of an interview. She'd be like, Mom, why are you lying? Dead. That never happened. <laughs> it's Kanye's <laughs> daughter. It's like, Kanye's you gotta imagine. Daughter, like... Middle of an interview, Mom, that never happened. Why are you saying that? We never did that. I mean, stop lying. That shit be funny mm. as fuck. But yeah. Um, Kids definitely gonna tell on you. Man, listen. Kids are definitely gonna tell you. Yeah. She has oh, yeah. no filter. Kids don't give a fuck about nothing. At all. Like, even, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we was younger, like, it, you always had that cousin that just, like, everybody had there at the cookout. <laughs> that nigga just come tell all your aunt business. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, we came home. My mama had a pink note on her door. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's crazy. See, somebody in the family. And she to said it. we going to have to move again. <laughs> <laughs> somebody in the family needs to know that. <laughs> Now speaking of kids and parents, yo, it, they um this this shit been going on on Twitter and shit um like all week about like parents buying their kids Valentine's Day gifts. My daddy ain't missed one yet. Yep. I'm, I'm about to be 38. When he never missed one. My parents to this barely, day. my parents don't mean buy me birthday gifts. <laughs> you know about Valentine's. Yeah, to this day. <laughs> That's a woman thing. My daddy be. has never missed a Valentine's birthday gifts. Like, nah, but like the shit I've seen, like people like they just buy their kids that like boys and girls like. Yeah, you do for them every. I do it for my kids. For Valentine's Day specifically, for Valentine's Day, yeah, definitely a woman thing. Valentine's Day, yeah. but my dad, no. I know for his daughters, like no matter what state we're in, where we at, he gonna make sure it's sent out if we not local. But he ain't missed no Valentine's Day, and I'm about to be 38. He ain't missed none. See, I can understand so. that with a father and a daughter, but so but for my son, yeah, I'm gonna do something nice. My for son him better too. not ask because you're a mom. No like I would never yeah. buy my son. Like, shit, look at my face. I mean, oh, no. the, the most Those, my my, my parents did for me for Valentine's Day was like get me them cards that we had to pass out <laughs> exactly. to the class. Exactly, yeah. like, <laughs> the Dollar Tree. Here you go. <laughs> and that's because the, the school you everybody had to get them shits to pass them out. But that a lot of them boy moms be weird. Oh yeah, they be yeah, dressing their sons like the niggas yeah, they want to date. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too much. Man. Yeah, they be dressing their sons like the nigga that they want. Why don't you, I, yeah, I, I I why don't you get a real nigga? Like I get you. You know, your son is your king. That nigga just wanted to go I be Spider Man in the backyard. Yeah, like, you know. This nigga does not want to put on a three piece suit and go out to dinner. He does not give a fuck about Valentine's yeah, Day. He, he, don't even, he, had to, he don't even like steak yet. This nigga want chicken nuggets. He <laughs> might have a little girl in class that he's trying to give some candy to. Like, leave that little boy alone. Some and then he like going that. to school and she asking him, why you dressed like Martin Luther King? <laughs> like, oh, my God. Hey, go ahead. You know. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Yeah, nah, man. But, but no, no, that's yo, Valentine's yo, yo. Day. Yeah, always. I've never. Yeah. I couldn't. I didn't even know that was a thing until like this shit started going around. Yeah, well, I definitely wasn't doing that shit. And the wild shit is, it is the same chocolate every year. It's never changed. <laughs> I mean, I mean, once you do that shit enough times, like because you can't you change it, never like, yeah. expect it. Like, like, you can't get a different the chocolate because like now it's every like. Yeah. If he said something different, you'd be fucked up. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, what is this? Yeah. And like even it. if it's better, like you is is you mm. even if it's better than the shit that you usually get, you still gonna want the shit like, you no, usually so. get. I think it's dope. Now we now don't go overboard if you're getting your kids some shit like you buying them all types of wild, crazy shit. I ain't buying my son don't do no that, fuck but... for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm gonna buy my son for Valentine's Day? A gift so he can go give it to a little girl at school. Oh, no, that's yeah, right. now that's, that's different. Right. Now, if, yeah, that's if, if, right if that was the thing, I could see that. But like Valentine's Day is like love, like that's yeah. for like your spouse and shit. I should have and it's mainly for birthday. women, for real. It is. No, because niggas gonna get their dicks up from the back on Valentine's Day. I get that. Not happen any other day. If that's the only, that's because we want to feel freaky. So I mean, <laughs> she, she <laughs> said thank you. So that's what you she what gonna say? do. You see what I'm saying? We go get motherfucking. We go get diamond bracelets, uh-huh. gold necklaces and shit. Yeah, that's and a then thank you. That's all. That's, we that all we get back is the same head that we've been getting all no, year anyway. Not for Valentine's Day. But they don't. <laughs> you not gonna suck my dick right yeah, back like, on this <laughs> random Tuesday. <laughs> don't suck my dick from the back just because it's Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> I want it on this random Tuesday. No way. Especially if that shit is, is more fire because I'm gonna try to figure out why the fuck I, this ain't what I'm getting all the time. <laughs> oh my god, that is terrible. Nah, fuck that. Who else dick you been sucking from the back? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I appreciate my wife, man, because we celebrate Sweetheart's Day. When is that? Uh, March 14th. Uh, okay. Steak and Blue Job. Steak and Blue Job. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It was called wow. Sweetheart's so, Day first. Yeah, yeah, Steak I didn't know that. Day. I didn't know yeah. that. I knew about Steak and Blue Job, but I didn't know about uh, Sweetheart. Sweetheart. See, I didn't know that's see, what they that's called why, it before. That's why I don't celebrate Valentine's Day, because they don't it, even know the origins. It's extra special on Sweetheart Day? Or just... 
little dick I mean, stuck with a steak. Basically. Oh. It's just better because it got the steak. With I mean, that sounds amazing to me. I don't me. even eat red meat, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, what more could I ask for? Thank God I, I'll I've be never celebrated that day. I, I, I'm sure I'll be celebrating. I didn't even know what sure it was. All right. See, I didn't think nobody celebrated until I came home one day. I was like, what the f- rose petals? Oh, that's the no, I'm an advocate for it. Like, oh, you got yeah. rose petals? <laughs> I, got, I got, man, a bath of... Uh, Man. That's all right. Hey, look, I ain't gonna front. You fuck around walk in the house and see Rose Petty, you know what time it is. Man, like, what? Like, <laughs> I got address at the door. Like, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on. <laughs> you know what fucking need, time it is. I don't even need the steak first. You start <laughs> geeking and shit. Like, oh, shit. Say, the, say the steak for <laughs> afterwards. I'm, I'm ready. She's like, no, nah, jump in the bath. Yeah, no, nah, that ain't oh, what I want to do. Ready to get in the bath? No, I go lay down. I'm gonna give myself. Fuck, let's go. I know what time it is. No, and it's better if you came home and, like, you just had a fucked up day. You just want to go home and goddamn lay down and some shit. And you come home to that, like, oh, shit. You better get that oh, my whole day. No, I'm talking about, <laughs> like, like your day, like, you had a bad day and you come home to that. Like, nigga, this, oh, this shit turned my whole world around. Bro. You, you fuck around, forget what you were mad about. It's crazy, I know it's crazy how far a good dicks are good. Unless there's somebody that owes you money. You ain't going to forget that. But if you nah, I'm gonna forget for that, for that for moment. That yeah, that moment, moment I'm gonna moment, forget. Yeah. Oh, wow. But soon she but, finished. But but as soon as need money. I need my money. Yeah. As soon as you finish clapping them cheeks, you like, all right, let me got them. You know why I need my money? Because after that dick so she just gave me, I feel like I need to buy her something. That's a fact. <laughs> I got my dick so so good once. I'm gonna get you a gift. I already get this girl oil change at two thirty in the morning. Damn. Wow. I don't even know where the fuck I'm about to get this. This shit nigga done out now. here to... looking up twenty four <laughs> yeah. hours. Do you need your twenty four hour drive through right <laughs> oil service? Some got. I got to do something for you. Something got to happen because ain't no way you just did that. This is crazy. A lot of mercy. Lot of mercy. Yeah. March 14th. Yeah. Stick and BJ Day. That's yeah. crazy. I just learned something today. Especially if it's if it's a fire BJ too. I like my stick like, medium. <laughs> for sure. And and I like my BJ rare. <laughs> 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 and no, I like my BJ well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Not medium well. No, nah, I need that shit well done. Raw and well done. Fellas, watch it later this year, man. You treat her right on, yeah. on Valentine's Day and shit. Wait, no, nah, you know right. niggas acting right right now. It's tax time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's hey, crazy. Is that why niggas acting right? <laughs> <laughs> it's tax time. They, they, they acting right. I guess that's why niggas don't hey, need to celebrate. Go out tonight? Nah, man, I gotta go home. I gotta go home, home bro. Man, look, man, hey, look, nigga, when it's tax time, they niggas asking you want to go out. Niggas be extra loud. Nah, man, I'm gonna clean up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm cook dinner tonight. Yeah, I gotta man. cook tonight. She upstairs, and he's she, saying that shit loud, so you make sure she, she hear him. She had a nah, long bro. day, so I gotta make sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> you yeah. sure, man? Yeah, man. I'm gonna I'm uh, I'm cook for her, man. I'm yeah, she had a hard day, house. man. Let me go in there, <laughs> make sure she's straight. Yeah. I know it's definitely she like that. She's trying to watch TV and peace. She's like checking that. on her. You good? You don't need it? You thirsty? You want something to drink? <laughs> <laughs> be ordering shit like. <laughs> I, know she, I know she like this. I'm going to order something. Telling her about groceries. She already. I had bought some orange juice. If you want some, it's in the. Uh, <laughs> I had it's, it's in the refrigerator. You want some orange juice? It's in there. We you already get... had some. Wait, that one's about to expire. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I threw that one away. I just went and got it. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't shit. That's yeah. how it happened. I'm glad I don't have them problems. It's bad for me. I got three kids, so you know they be coming out of oh, nowhere. Oh, they about to... <laughs> <laughs> coming out of nowhere. They about to jump in your shit crazy. Always. Hey, big head. <laughs> hey, big head. <laughs> just checking on you. Don't want nothing. <laughs> how you been? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I almost sent you a hey, big head text. God damn. Yeah. That's well, about 15 a clip. That, she had like a profit sharing chick. Fam, so why why I never worked out? I think it like, why I never worked out between us? Nigga won't we'll never know us, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> but nah, man, that shit crazy. Look, baby, um, <laughs> if you listen, baby, I don't even really want too much of your tax money. Let me just get like. Your wow. time. You need to flip he it. just wants your time. <laughs> you, wanna, a, you know I'm a you flip it. Mean. And we're not even in the streets flipping it no more. We on FanDuel flipping it. Nah, like, <laughs> you get your shit back tomorrow. Ladies, oh my God. stop. They on, yo, the crazy shit is, they on FanDuel they self now. Yeah. Be a, be a fucking lady and get the fuck <laughs> off FanDuel. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. That, nothing pisses me yeah. off more than seeing women talk about FanDuel. I Am I a is. male chauvinist? Call me yo, the fuck what, you, what, possibly. I just seen Rallo tweet earlier. That nigga said, why are you watching the... um? The motherfucking 
the over under go up and down where your neck should be going up like, and down. <laughs> I don't even know what that I don't mean. be tweeting about real housewives of whatever fucking city they in right now. God damn it, stop. Just nah, they really, ju- they really trying to take over the podcast. What y'all say? Leave, leave something to the niggas. God damn. I still don't know what y'all talking about. Exactly, because you're a lady. I'm glad. You don't need to. Yeah, I really don't know what y'all talking about. You don't about. need to. Although, you do exist. Since, since, since you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm going to send you this link later. I'm going to sign up. For <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to just, what's your email? Damn. Just send me the code. That they <laughs> I got the rest. We're going to discuss some things. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to send you some money at the end of the next month. Oh, Everybody's going to be happy. It. If I if I ever text you and just be like, you have a photocopy of your ID on you, just don't just. Mm-hmm. I'm not scamming. I swear to God, I'm not scamming. Just oh, this, this, is, this is a joke. <laughs> just send it. <laughs> Pam's definitely going to have an account registered her name by the time we leave tonight. This wasn't a joke at all. I don't need any of your money. I just need your ID, your social security number. Holy you didn't even give it to me. You can just t- <laughs> oh yeah, put it God. in yourself. Yeah, you you, you didn't even give it to me. You can just type it in yourself. What? I don't need it. You's a fucking nut, nigga. I'm not stealing social security card. I'm going to steal an RFIDs. Oh, Pam, go, <laughs> Pam go log in that bitch one day and see what it is. You going to hit it. You going to love what you're doing. Nah, man. This nigga motherfucking Brandon Ingram. Click. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Brandon, Brandon Ingram keep missing threes. Like, God damn it, they done got her too. Just don't log in and take the money I win. <laughs> we going to draw it at the end of the month, fam. <laughs> Your birthday next month too, ain't it? It's in March. I know it first. is. I mean, that's technically next month. We're dead. Yeah, we are. Yeah, there. January is over. It's on the first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought it was the week after that. Mm-mm, it's they, the first. They even milked on the eighth. Yeah, oh, it's mil- Mar- mil- March mil- Fool's Day. March Fool's Day? The first of every month is Fool's Day, oh. not just April. How'd y'all 30 day trial go? How the what? Woo? Your thirty day trial. Oh what? Of the new year. It's all. January. Oh, I'm still. It's all January. I still 30- got five days. I don't know if yeah. I want to renew this shit. Yet. Yeah, January is a thirty day trial. The new year. See how this. Shit I ain't gonna go. front though. Like this January flew the fuck by. Yeah. Like this shit going crazy. It went past. It did, but it didn't. Like I went to St. Thomas, and it felt like that was. Damn, we sure did. This nigga, oh, but that felt like that was weeks. I was on my way out there, but I changed. This was months ago. Rich nigga. You know what I'm saying, like oh. we, we, us regular people, we was working this shit. Right. Like, we was, was here like, was in the cold. It's 30 I had, degrees. I had nobody yeah. to buy no Christmas gifts for. Man, that shit was lovely, won't it? Other than my fucking kids. My God. See, I didn't. I, I, damn, I did to buy my son Christmas gifts. He ain't really count. Other than my they kids, don't count. I was going to say, your kids don't count. I have to buy for no nigga for Christmas? My God, because I'm a gift giver. You so. Listen, this I didn't is, tell you. This my birthday right. just passed. And, uh, <laughs> not for nothing. <laughs> Shout out to all the good baby mamas out there. I ain't going to listen. I do a lot of shit. I'll never complain about my child's mother. Oh, oh right. that's right. So I text her. Like a week or two before Christmas, it was like, you know what I'm saying? What you getting for Christmas? Just want to make sure we don't get him the same thing. Ain't no, buying, ain't no point in buying duplicates. Yeah. I was going to buy him the Switch because that's what he told me he wanted. That, he, bro, we trying to stop the violence in the streets, man. The Nintendo Switch. Oh, oh all right, bad, bad. No, I'm fucking. Hey, these little niggas do got Switches now. Oh, my son definitely got a Switch on his Nerf gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's, de- it's definitely a Switch on the Nerf gun. <laughs> do not get it fucked up. My son will shoot you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> With the Nerf with gun. With the Nerf gun. <laughs> with the Nerf gun. <laughs> and if you got any smoke for him, is that never mind. So anyway. <laughs> but nah, nah, go ahead, go ahead. So yeah. Text a couple days, like, you know what I'm saying? What you gonna get him so we make sure we don't get him duplicates and shit. She was like, Oh, I got him a Nintendo Switch. And I was like, like you already bought it? Like, you got it in the hand? She was like, Yeah, I got it. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that money back in my pocket. <laughs> Big facts. Big facts. But I told her, like, don't be wrong. If you didn't get it, I was gonna get it. Like, yeah. I was about to order that shit today. That's why I'm I asked. We're gonna nah, get that's, him a gift card that's when you hit games. him with this. I'm gonna buy him some games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, buy him some games. Yeah. I said, you know what? That's exactly what I said. Yeah, don't you worry about it. Nintendo Network. There you go. Hey. I got all the accessories. Don't worry about it. The case and all that. Yeah. She was like, I got all that too. I was like, Oh, damn. damn. All, right. all right, well, I'm going to just get him extra games. Because like, yeah. I don't need no yeah, to do You got it made. Mm. You got it made, brother. It was cool. I can't complain. I was a little bit sad, though, because I did want to give him the Switch because yeah, I knew yeah, that's yeah. what he really wanted. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he got it. So I you tried to pull a one up. You wanted to be the one to put the Switch in his hands. I did. It wasn't trying to be a, you know, I'm about to be one of them. I just no, like to see my son happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but me also saving $400. Yeah. Makes and you know, like kids, happier. when they get their best gift, they go, Daddy got me a Switch. That's what it is. That's what I'm glad when they at grandma house and shit, and he got the switch, he holding that bitch up. Daddy got me the switch. Nah, nah, but it was cool, man. But shout out to all the good baby mama. My son won, so I can still buy. I I bought that hey, nigga like blocks and give shit. him a box. We, what? He's we good. Were, we went with the five below. Oh no, nah, see, my son, he passed the box part. Oh damn, this nigga's building blocks and shit and putting shapes in the hole like that nigga. Yeah. Uh, my youngest, I went and bought he him. He love that shit Range though. Rover. He's just like me. Put it together. <laughs> I be she said, shapes "Fuck in. that car. I want the box." 
Yeah. No, he is daddy, son. He is daddy, son. That's what they do. (laughs) Yep. Fucking boxes, pots, pans, spoons. Nah, pots and pans, I, I, I let him know, nah. Yeah, that shit loud. That shit loud as a bitch. It's louder than any other toy that they got. Yes, <laughs> nigga, pots oh, and pans is loud as a motherfucker. Too, so. Oh yeah, I don't buy toys. My shit is time too, so I can't my, even say that. Let's talk to the parents out there for a little bit. Yeah, we rarely talk to the parents. We always talk about bullshit. We are gonna get to our usual nonsense. Let's talk to the parents out there. Yeah, yeah, I don't buy my kids toys. That pots noise. and pans are not louder than depending on what. The you toy might as well buy them a fucking drum set. And I won't do it. Pans, yeah, you can play the saxophone, you can play the violin, you can play some shit that How you can like practice. How strong is goddamn kids? But they goddamn making it sound hey, these like these kids that. is different now. My son, no, no lie, my kid, my son is strong as a bitch. But I mean, like pots and pans right. are. My son is strong. You just flipped. I'm just confused. These niggas in the matrix just now. I don't know what just happened, I but I was it. confused. I just wasn't trying to turn my head to see. It was like turn. I was like, what did I just miss? Or what did I just witness? Because I'm, I just. I was gonna Something happened. <laughs> Shout out to our producer, nah, Slim. Already, there, <laughs> but, but nah, yeah, I don't um, noise like little music noise and shit like that. That's not loud. I can like, do that. Like, did y'all kids have but a little like, push thing that when you walk, you get pop, 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 pop. Fuck oh, no. hell no, fuck no, hell yeah. no. I got fuck my son no. the lawnmower. When you push it, it blow bubbles. <laughs> See that shit fire, but and it in don't my make family, no fucking noise. <laughs> Jordan had one, the twins and, had one, and so my home. My and shit that shit gonna keep them occupied because every time he push quick. it, the bubbles gonna come out. That nigga gonna stop and Bubble. and once he no. figure it out, oh nigga, <laughs> as long as it's water and this yeah. soap in that bitch, my kids yep. get you ain't got to worry about me. nothing. Nope. See, mothers are different. Nah, I had it times two at <laughs> one time. Yeah, fuck that. I don't Time man. I'm not... one time. You talking about one going this way, the other one going that way. It's just all day yeah. long. Like it's. Yeah. it's... I want to know. That's parents, what's the most annoying thing that y'all kids do? That's... Cry. Yeah. No, that <laughs> whining shit. That no, whining. My son is a cr- man. All the nah, fucking time. You know what? I talk a whole lot, so I don't mind asking them questions because I can out talk my kids because I talk so much. <laughs> so y'all keep asking me. I'm gonna talk to you guys. I'm gonna write the fuck oh, up. Oh, they twins. Wait to give it about two. They only four now. So wait till them wait. niggas about six, seven. Yeah, they go double ask questions. They, ask they gonna questions be on your now. ass. They now. They no, my son. Now. My son is like not. That old, he's not formulated, but that nigga asked questions. Mm. He just asked it in the form of sounds. <laughs> no. I told my daughter she was cute, and then that's all she heard in that. Daddy, I cute? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> every, every two seconds. Daddy, I cute? She knows. Yes, she baby, knows you're cute. Yeah. Daddy, I cute? Yes. He just, <laughs> he just going one word you. Open? Open? No, not right now. Yeah, yeah, open? Mm-hmm. Yo, give it to me. Open? Y'all, y'all give me the fucking Open? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? That's oh the worst. Oh, my God. Nigga. That's These the worst. Nigga. Nigga. I deal with that every morning. Y'all tripping. I feed my son all day. I know he gonna oh, they good. eat a lot, though. My oh. God. Nah, when they hungry they and like. They fucking eat. And when they, they come tell you they hungry and like. You don't get up right then it, and there? It's not the like average time that y'all eat. So like, like say. I got it easy. My and son. then now, like, they starving. Yeah. No, I think when a kid tell you they hungry, they, like, they, right, right, right now. now. Right, 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 right now. now. You know, that's what I was, that's what yeah, I was trying to get to. Right I was just now. long-winded. They don't give you time to prep no, nothing. get up now. And then, like, you go in there, everything in the fr- Everything frozen. Like, ain't no quick shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, ain't no shit that's just throwing I, I, the microwave real fruit. quick. I buy fruit all the time, bro. You <laughs> orange, you banana. Ain't parent, bro. Yeah. You got to keep... Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I got nuggets and shit, but even like fruit. even the two minutes that mm. that shit taking the yeah, microwave, oh, yeah. Bananas fruit and, and shit. Uncrustables. Yeah. Yeah. That part. <laughs> uncrustables go a long way. They really yeah. do. They right. hold you over. Right. Yeah. My son eat them, but he... Huh? Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, the the yeah. 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 peanut butter jelly sandwiches. That's hey, the like pre-made. They got yeah. strawberry they got ones. Ooh, strawberry there. Smuckers. I did. Oh, I pre-made. Yeah. Yeah. My son shit on the low. Yo, at night I do that shit. Hey, too. My son crustables. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, damn, ain't nothing quick to make. Slim nope. looked like he was. Slim looked like he was about to leave right now and go get something. Like, fuck the rest of this shit. I ain't gonna see y'all niggas in a minute. I'm about to buy some. Four dollars a box go a long way, bro. Yeah. Broke about to get. Shout out, to, shout out to the makers of Uncrustables. Uncrustables. Yeah. Smuckers, Smuckers, you got it. Smuckers, yeah, it's like a pre-made and they frozen. So but it's like, perfect. But, but you, you gotta let it sit out. You can put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. refrigerator I ain't one frozen one. They ain't give a fuck. Oh, they'll, <laughs> take, they'll take but maybe five <laughs> minutes to thaw. 
And then, they and then like, when they like, I'm telling you, people yeah, put them in the refrigerator, they don't go bad. I just no, throw you gotta put that bitch yeah. in the air fryer for a little bit. That's oh, crazy. Crazy. You're you're crazy. Crazy. Like, put me on. No, yeah, put it in the air fryer, like let it get like a little crispy, not not where it's dark brown, but just a little brown. My God. No, nah, I ain't gonna front. I like I like my uncrustables like right when they thaw, but they not like. They not they don't have no more ice in it, but them shits is cold like that. Them shit, that jelly be man, that shit is like that. It's, yeah, it's, might go to food like Shout out to all the parents who steal their kids' yeah. snacks when their kids sleep. Man, yeah, listen, we bought jelly shit. is crazy though. When they Unless sleep, it's on like a biscuit yell. or something. <laughs> 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 It's good, I promise. I, know, I wouldn't be, tell my you. Son be on my ass. I turn yeah, my I'm back not quick. Eating, I, warm jelly in the PBJ is, I don't my know. Son be on my ass. Like, that you eat my stuff? Yup. You would eat warm jelly off the body. How many Capri Suns you drink as an adult? I mean, at least two. Different. Nah, no, what's the difference between warm those. jelly on the body? Because body going to warm the jelly up. I'm drinking at least two. <laughs> two of them. I'm drinking two out of the body. That's what I'm buying. Because two out of the six pack or the eight pack, that shit gone. Suck that shit right off her toes. Like... The what? 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 Whoa, bro. Oh, said, oh, me and Pam was talking about said, <laughs> we, we were talking about no. kids. Oh, my God. This is insane. No. <laughs> he said, Fuck no. He said warm jelly was crazy. I said you would eat warm jelly off of a body, but not out of a pee. I'm not eating warm jelly off of anybody. <laughs> yeah. Why is jelly warm? Yeah, that- if it's on a body, it's going to be No, warm. and I it said, and I said it's, it's gonna be at the worst, jelly I said I'm not eating it warm. Yeah. I said I'm not eating it warm. Put this shit in the air fryer and then call me. No. I don't want the warm jelly. It's not That's what warm. I, yeah. Pam, I'm not ready for that. I jelly. need you to understand. So, oh my yeah, God. it ain't warm. The air fryer's going to be hot. <laughs> it's not. You don't yeah, put yeah, it in there that, that long. long. And I'm definitely not eating no hot jelly. Hot it's jelly not, sounds like some sex it's shit. It's not in there that long for it to be it like does. cold. It's not. That means she got some snap. I don't trust you. If it ain't in there that long. Kyle, I'm going to make you one. Y'all playing with me, I'm telling you. I'm not eating no, no fucking, fucking warm. Jelly. It's not warm. Yeah, you're right. It's in the air fryer. How is it not warm? Because I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Like I do it just right, okay. So it be right. It'll are we be still good. talking It'll about be... Uncrustables? Yes, 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 we are. I'm intrigued. I'm like, what? listen, I time it perfectly. I know how to turn it over and all that, and then it just everything. Oh, no. Everything makes me think of her. She truly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the set of text messages out like, is your jelly warm right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try that shit. See what happens. <laughs> I don't even know what it means, but my friend just told me about it, so I wanted to see if yours was. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, yeah, I'm not eating no warm jelly, though. Pam, you always doing some unorthodox You're shit. you definitely a serial killer. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, yo, every episode, it's, you just it's reveal okay. some wild food shit that you do. I'm not telling y'all nothing else. Please, don't, no, please continue. Uh, I'm not gonna judge I, I, I want to know. Just, I, I, I'm, I'm a foodie, you. so I, yeah. I definitely want to know. So I mean, We're not going to judge you, but we definitely not... What? He want to make sure I, them I, shit's I, in the stores at all times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he want to make sure. Nah, they okay. never run out of Uncrustables. Yeah, nah. 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 That's how I but find I'm out the, you, that's you how put I find in the strawberry fryer, ones. Yeah, you put in there just right. I'm telling you, the jelly is not, it's not warm at all. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna oh, you're going to heat up something that's not. It's not going to do it. It's not warm now. That's what I'm trying to figure especially out. When it, especially what, when it tells me to keep it cold. But what settings do y'all have on your air fryer? Oh, I got a magnificent air fryer. That's I what I'm saying. I got, I got everything. Little, yeah, got so you're not ninja. even putting it yeah. on. Yeah, like, yeah. I got a big yeah. ass air fryer. Like, I can put a whole yeah. Cornish hen in my bitch. Like, I'm, two about, of them. I'm dead ass about to call my kids so she can tell you that it's not warm. Kids she, eat any fucking thing. Jordan. <laughs> I'm about to call Jordan. She's not about to lie to y'all. I'm telling you. Kids eat anything. Jordan. Yeah, because you probably force feed that shit to her. She put me on to it. No, she put me on to it. It was some TikTok shit, won't it? Y'all got that shit on TikTok, didn't you? So y'all did it y'all self? She did it. And then she put So y'all just be experimenting, just putting random shit in the air fryer? Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, God, I do. Let me tell you, I put some fire shit together. You got me fucked up. You just put random shit in the air fryer. So, Because what made you put a fucking peanut butter, a frozen peanut butter jelly sandwich in there? You tried to throw it out real quick, didn't you? No, Jordan told me about it. So I tried it, and that shit was all right. But I'm telling you, the jelly is not warm. You know what I do warm up before I eat it? Pussy. <laughs> hey, I think about to say you that. know what? I'm like, fuck. Finger it ain't dead. You still gotta play with that thing a little bit. Yeah, Just can't. make sure if you're a nigga, man, you keep your motherfucking hands and nails clean. Facts. That's yeah. a fact. Keep them trimmed. Actually, and what I like to do is before, because you know, people typically like to eat and shit before they start fighting. Like, we at the house eating and shit. Make sure you wash your hands before you get to playing in the pussy. That's a fact. It's real easy to eat. Especially if y'all just wings. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> dead ass, though. Like, you're you not, some buffalo dead wings. Ass. And it's easy to, like, you know, kind of like, wash your hands off a nap because y'all just be sitting there. Uh huh. Let me ask y'all a question, though. Like, when, so. you, <laughs> when you doing massages with scented lotions and shit, make sure you wash your hands off. That's a valid. He said this cayenne pamper fucker nut up. 
When y'all go bowling, do y'all eat y'all chicken wings and then stick y'all fingers in a hole after you eat your chicken wings? I'm sure I do. See, that's like that's. But do you go right back from straight from the bowling ball straight to your chicken wing? I'm sure I probably do. (laughs) (laughs) Never thought about it. Although, in my in my defense, I used to bowl, so I had I had my own balls, balls. All right, Um, I mean that's different. But I said, yeah. I but yo, nah, that's crazy. If you if you at the bowling alley and you doing that, eating your wings, you don't know how many niggas fingers. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have never thought about that though. That ass, like, yeah, if I didn't like, have my own bowling balls. Yo, because I be seeing people that. like nigga, they, they straight. Oh, bro, you boom, got me thinking. They, they do the little like, stain. Like, most niggas not gonna do that shit, bro. <laughs> no, they look at the but score. I'm a fat nigga, so I'm gonna I'm eat my food first. I'm gonna eat it. Turn around, grab the wing, and just eat that shit. But you got your own. You got your own. I just I'm just saying, it's not something I would have thought of. Yeah, I'm sure the inside of my Bowling balls, finger holes need to be disinfected too. Yeah. I know I've done some unruly things before Whoa, I put my fingers. Fam. <laughs> wow. I bowling ball. I don't know her what and the, this nigga, I don't know what the fuck you be at home doing with your bowling balls. I'm telling you, shit. I bowling balled her and he, then I went bowling. Two nah, in the pink. This nigga wow. said he be at home doing unruly things to his bowling ball. Two in the pink, one in the stink, fam. Bend over from the back, you hit it like that. Father God. <laughs> Or I just called on me. Yeah, I'm thinking like you, you, you don't know which hole Putin. You just go with the flow. Just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. No way. No way. It blow me. I'm just blow back. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You flirting with me? <laughs> That's, you... That's it. When she queef, you just answer this. You you flirting with me? You know what? <laughs> No, me, me and that pussy having a conversation right now. I am. Cannot. Be boxing together. What's up? <laughs> Bitches, you Dougie Fresh. Oh <laughs> my God. When the pussy get to talking, me and you don't have nothing to discuss. Let's just listen to it. I'm, oh, I'm randomly asking you, like, you hear that? I know you hear that. <laughs> y'all love the sound of y'all own pussies. I don't really be paying attention to it. The fuck we going on in your background? It's not me trying to listen to that. I'm gonna tell you to listen to it because I'm listening. <laughs> Damn right, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you hear that? You hear yeah, my? How, you hear how like, much you love me? I guess the sound is what you're trying to pay attention to, but I'm not really yeah. like. Oh, how you I think hear? niggas knew about the mac and cheese shit? You got to listen to it to know. I know what it sounds like, but that's not something I'm listening for. Like that's the last thing I'm thinking about is like sound. So when a nigga got you folded up and got you got your legs, got the thumb, boom, boom, boom. Big as these thighs is, they and big as these thighs is, they probably cover my ears. I that's probably can't why hear you got to tell way. her to listen to it because they don't be focused on that <laughs> shit. And then when she listens to it, you got to tell like, her focus. Damn, that do sound good. <laughs> then that shit just gonna get wetter. From somebody telling me to listen. And you gonna hear it, and you gonna hear it. I know what it sound like, but it's just. But like, you weren't focusing on it, so now you focus. No, I'm on definitely the way it not focus on it. Exactly. Now I tell you to focus on it, and you focus on the way it sounds, and it sounds amazing. And then get the coaching you through it, get the coaching you through focusing on it. That shit like meditation. Mm. I'm definitely good to talk you to a nut. <laughs> Women love that shit. I'm good for that. Women love that shit. Depends on what the voice sounds like. Women love that shit. Depends on the voice, because every voice can't talk to that shit. I'm going to tell you now. That's wild crazy. That's the voice I put on. That's wild crazy. <laughs> Everybody can't talk you through it. Some niggas' voices, you just like, don't say shit at all. That's crazy. Don't say a fucking thing. What, if nigga got like a high-pitched voice or something? Yeah. Like a squeaky voice yeah, or some shit? Yeah. I can't have silence. Uh, take this dick. Take it. I'm still a nigga that fucking music on in the background. Come on. Me too. It ain't necessarily got oh, yeah, to be slow no. music, but yeah. Music. Oh no, I have a I have a fuck me playlist. I mean, I do have I phone. do that too. Oh yeah, but everybody don't get the fuck me playlist though. No, it ain't for everybody. Everybody don't get the fuck me playlist. No, nah, because sometimes right. some, whatever the fuck come on, you got to turn up a little bit. There's this playlist that DJ Primetime dropped during Crowley. Shout oh yeah, out, shout out to Primetime when he was DJ. And that shit, shit, that shit, I got that shit run. saved. I think I might be the only nigga that got that shit saved in my life. So if I show you that DJ Primetime playlist, <laughs> like it's a set, we can sit in the house. I'm gonna turn the lights off. We gonna watch that shit. If I show you that shit, you special to me. <laughs> oh my god And I can tell you Because I, I can count The number of people Who I've seen that shit with <laughs> On one hand So if I show you this shit You special to me. Wow It's hey, top man. two And it ain't more than two <laughs> I should probably cut that out <laughs> She's definitely gonna get me Fucked up some Boy bad. nigga Like you yeah, ain't fucking Use that you... playlist with me Like why I see it Yep you definitely It's a yeah. Or one of the two. It's either, like, who, it's else either, who else you no, so, yeah, That's what I was about to say. It's either you ain't using with me or. Take so that, who the other bitch? Take that time mm-hmm. step out. <laughs> Kill that. Who the other bitch that you. Uh... If we were on live, I'd have never said that shit. Mm. <laughs> Back to regularly scheduled program. Did you download that video I sent you? 
Nah, let me see. Because you don't listen to me. I don't. Dang. I didn't know you sent me a video. That's your right messenger video. open. I'm All I looking. got was. I sent it four messages up. Any what you told me when I asked question? Yeah, definitely. I think I wish I could see it. Um, it's kind of it's not a sex topic. It's kind of a relationship topic. I like relationship topics. Yeah. They're not always going to be there. She wanted to know if she was overreacting. Mm-hmm. It's a legitimate <laughs> question to ask if you're overreacting, yeah. or when you when you get to the topic, I feel like it's a legit topic to possibly stand your ground on or not stand your ground on. You know, people usually say stupid shit, and it's just like, nigga, why'd you even ask that question, or why is this a discussion? I feel like this one might have been a little valid. It's still petty as a bitch, but. Which one is this? Oh, this is a different one. Uh, so where are we at? No, I got it. Oh, it's two of us. There's two b Bobbies. Yeah, one is the one we've been having, and then the other one is. Oh, wait, what? I'm tripping. I'm thinking we talking about the group chat. You talking about on Instagram? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it should. I think that's only one. Just How, the where same did you send it? I feel like using. I saw it. Oh, right here. I just sent the link. It's in the whole video. I got it pulling up now. Oh, she's a pretty girl. Um, God, it's so loud. Yeah, and the mics don't pick it up, though. Oh, that's good. I got my dog. I I can see it. I just don't want it to be. It's on Twitter, right? I mean, I could download mm-hmm. the actual video and send it to you if that makes your life easier. No, I can just pull it up on Twitter. I was, uh. The jelly is that one. <laughs> See, you ain't gonna forget about that shit, but I'm telling you, it's not I fucking hard. Right yeah, right I said that. I still ain't got it. Like, you probably might like, like, and it was real. Like, nah. Let's tell you, try it. I'm telling you, when you try the shit, just be like, Pam, you was right. It's the way you do it. Y'all trying to play me? Y'all gonna be addicted? I ain't wasting shit. my money on uh, doing that. You made yours, and let me get a piece of it. Man, I gotta tell. I, gotta I don't like warmed up sandwiches anyway, so I can already tell you. But Unless not, I go to zeros, I toast my. I don't. Even, that's that's what, I don't even really go to zeros because I don't like. That's what I'm saying, sandwiches. but it's not like that. Like zeros and Quiznos. It's just yeah, like a if little. It's, if it's a Philly or something, you know how. Yeah, but. All right, you know how like you put some shit in the microwave and it should be doing like that wild, crazy popping noise, but the whole shit ain't warm. Like honey buns. Like anything you put in there, you ain't never put some shit in there, and I hope that shit don't be cooked mm-hmm. through all the way. It's like that, like the. Outside is a little brown, but the inside is still. But that's what I'm saying. I don't want my outside of my bread brown. Unless I'm eating toast. It's kind of it's toasted. Serious. I don't like toasted sandwiches. Oh, okay. that's the whole point. Like that's why I can tell you I'm not gonna like it because I don't oh, like toasted sandwiches. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. I can't see it, but that's fine. I mean, you can hear it. Yeah. It's just her talking into the camera. Serious question. What would you do if the guy that you were seeing made a female friend dinner at his place? Like an elaborate dinner. I'm dying. Okay, so this is what he made his female friend. This is a cheese board. I have no idea what this is, but he made that. Some pasta. The pasta looks amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. Not going to lie. And he even plated it. He plated it. He was like, oh, I made something and sent me all these pictures. And I was just wowed. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this looks beautiful. Oh, but then naturally I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> were you on a date? And that's completely fine. Like, you're not my man. You know, we're not together. We're just talking. So if he was, which clearly like this is this is a date, but th- that's completely fine. You know, we're not together. But this guy was like, oh, no, no, I just cook like this for, you know, my friends all the time. You know, whether it's men or women. I made it for my friend and he named off some woman's name. I don't want to uh, be talking to someone or dating someone who feels like they need to spend one-on-one time with someone in a very intimate way. This is like extremely intimate. It's almost performing for someone. Um, So yeah, I I just wouldn't want my potential someone or my boyfriend or my husband doing something like all of this for another woman. I don't know why she's irritating me a little bit. Yeah, we good. Yeah. Well, thank you. Shout out to the greatest producer on in the world. <laughs> yeah. Um. Very nice guy. But yeah, now that's uh. I mean. So he he cooked for this woman. That's but she a, said that's not that's her nigga. Friend. So. 
But they're they're in that talking phase. So let's, I mean, yeah. Whether you're talking or hyper, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're seriously talking to somebody, you know you're seriously talking to somebody. I, I, but if he does I, that for his friends, I, yeah. I guess that, that's just that some depends shit on, that he do. And he yeah, actively but, sent her pictures like, hey, hey this is what I did. So I that, do this all the time. That's, that's that matters. Yeah. Now, if he did this shit and like she just happened to see it and like he sent it to you though, it ain't like you stumbled across this shit. As as a I dick. mean, my shorty can't cook for no nigga. I'm double standard like a motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, my shorty cooking for no nigga. We looking at it as as a they right next to you. We looking at it as a different perspective. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. That's a no for me because it's different if that meal that he's making, when he says, I cook like this for my friends, men, women, all of them, then all of the motherfuckers should have been there eating that food so he can try it out. But you mean to tell me your homegirl, me and you fucking around, and you decide to call up your homegirl so she can try up this motherfucking full course meal that's crazy as fuck. I might have I mean, put you yeah. some in I might have threw you some in the maybe, Tupperware maybe she nah. told me she was pulling up <laughs> he on me like he, he might have he might have threw her some in the Tupperware he fucking with her romantically though like he didn't ask her like hey come try my food like, dude might be fuck a chef no. and she might try to hire him look this is what I can offer there you go Boom. hell no he fucking that friend you call me and be like yo I had a fucked up day and I'm like well come to the crib I'm about hoes. to <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> fuck out of here. You having a fucked up day? You hit me like yo, I'm having a fucked up day, and I'm like yo, come to the crib, have some shots. I'm about to cook. I'm gonna tell my homeboy the same thing, and we together. I would tell you that though. He's, he's, he's know, speaking I'll literally. Say, he's, yeah, like, he's literally, literally speaking like as you, him like, and you. Like, like if you call me, and be like yo, I had a fucked up day. Like you like, home girl. Yeah, come but to that's the crib, different. Take Y'all shots, don't see me in that way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He but might not see her in that cook. way. Like, I don't cook like that. That's what I said. He might but not see her listen, in that you way. you made some food that should have been fire as fuck, but it, you ain't it, never laid out it, just Hold on, I got you. Like that. Did that food ever make you want to fuck Kyle? No. That food so, made... I'm fucking off this food. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Kyle. Damn, Kyle. It's all in the plate. No, she said the food was fire. Damn, I gotta, Kyle. I got to plate it differently. I'm fucking <laughs> off this food. We fucking. I'm telling you. you know that shit is beautiful. I wouldn't try to fuck Pam, but I know what it is. I didn't uh, sprinkle parsley on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's Listen, you sprinkle parsley on shit to make it look beautiful. That's like I'm gonna fuck you after food. <laughs> that is, what if that's just how the nigga cook? Nah, that ain't how this nigga cook. Why he didn't cook like that for her? Maybe he did. Nah, yeah, roasting her off. picture. Why he cooked for his home girl? That's some hoe ass nah, shit. They what might I, have been new at talking too. So nah, man, she bugging. Uh, what I think the difference is is no. What are y'all y'all going through a lot? Oh nah, if, if, I don't know, man. If, would you be is, would you be comfortable with your wife cooking for her homeboy like that? No, because my wife, I'm there. No, nah, you ain't there. there. No, nah. she's sending you a picture like, babe. Oh, <laughs> Look, I cook. I think this. the big difference I'm is smart as hell. I got cameras everywhere. Do I know him? Like, or did you introduce me to him? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if that's my homegirl, if that's my real life homegirl, because you're my real life homegirl, right? I'll introduce you to a shorty I'm talking to with no issue. Yeah, I meet your girl, so yeah. it's for real. That's the fact. So if I send her that picture and I'd be like, yo, my homegirl Pam came over and I cooked, you know what I'm saying? This is what I made. Yeah. She's like, who the fuck is Pam? I'd be like, nigga, you can come meet Pam. Like, it ain't nothing. Right. <laughs> that nigga sent her the pictures. Yeah. The look fine. I would have sent the pictures too. Yeah. Pull out there. Yeah, I don't listen. Think- Y'all don't think she got nothing to worry about? Nope. Y'all, I think she got something to worry about. I ain't gonna lie about. to you, because a lot of niggas be lying. What do you mean? Niggas be lying. Like, they be like, I could. I mean, it ain't the rest of that he lying. Like, it really could have just been a friend, because he ain't in a relationship with neither one of them. She's just a friend, too. I don't think so. But Not she might like she that. might have something to worry about. I ain't gonna say she ain't got she nothing to worry about. She definitely might, might be the first day he's trying to impress her. No, I mean, I, you're right, but he's not with her. He's not with her. not with a uh, shorty. He will. Clearly, nice that would, you, would you rather me send you the picture or you see it on my Instagram story and wonder who Man, the fuck I made Man, you ain't cooking for that bitch at all, nigga. I'm hungry. <laughs> Come grab your plate. I'm hungry. I like to eat, bro. Don't send me no picture, no shit like this. It's just food. No, you definitely should have made enough for three. So, like, I got a plate for you. Yeah, like, come through. I just cooked this. My homegirl over here eating. Come through. But he might have. He might have threw her something in the Tupperware. Nah, he ain't throw her brooch. Sent her pictures. In the Tupperware, <laughs> in the Tupperware though. Plate, yeah, she got. You got to plate that shit. Like you played it. He for played it for his right. homegirl. Put it in Tupperware for this girl. No, no, no. You can't put that but, shit. Uh, you can't have that shit wrapped up in no foil or nothing. Like you had that shit plated when she cooked. Yeah, you might have to plate it better. Nigga. But yeah, I you mean, cook a whole other meal for real. Or just tell her if it's that deep. If she's not busy, pull up. Right now, so right. you can really know that it ain't shit. That's, how, yeah. that's really your homegirl. Yeah, so you can really know that this shit really ain't about nothing. Then they ain't send the pictures after she was gone. 
I mean, that's kind of smart because you don't know. She might come over there and beat the joint up. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> First of all, that nigga has to be a chef because ain't no way. Yeah, cooking like that, yeah. Yeah. And that's just one meal. Like, so all the, them pictures she showed was like one meal. You know, if he a chef, I, I, I mean, I believe. It's, it's hard to tell at that point. Yeah, because you know I mean? chefs don't really play by their food. They have no chill. Yeah. They, they yeah. Regardless of who they cooking for, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, they do. Not the chefs I know. Yeah, because yeah, I, I got a few homeboys that the chefs that the do the same shit. shit. You mean to tell me there's there. not a, there's not a difference between professional like pro- cooking for you professionally and like I'm trying to I'm Mm-mm. trying to fuck you meal. Mm-mm. There's no difference. Not, you can't tell with chefs. I really can't. With me, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like me, you can tell. Yeah, because if I actually if I actually put extra shit in there, if you get the scallops and shit that that ain't normally supposed to go with this meal, yeah. Okay. You know what time if I was in the house cutting up bell peppers and shit, <laughs> like I was chopping up onions because I'll take you the shit actually way see out the, the garlic peels and not like the, the, the pre. I was I was mincing garlic. That's oh crazy. Oh my god! I was definitely trying to get some pussy if I was mincing garlic. Wow! You see the block of cheese, not the pre-shredded shit, and you see the shredded like yeah, this shit real. Wow! <laughs> like this shit. Wow! Like is that a whole Parmesan wheel? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I, I got this thing. shit. I got this shit fresh from the farmer's market. Like, no and then way. sometimes I just be in the mood to cook. Yeah. No way. Yeah, like I made some seafood Alfredo because I just had to get rid of the shit, and I was dolo. Like that wasn't even for nobody. I was just in the mood to make. You talk shit. about me being rich. He got seafood in his freezer. Right, he just got to get rid of. Scallops and shit. I gotta, nah, I gotta find so, something to do with these king crab legs. So it was. Huh. It was supposed to be for something. But somebody else had already got them, so it would have been like. What was it for? For my mom and them, we had oh. they had a little seafood. You didn't um, invite thing. nobody over. That nigga lied with a straight that face. I was barely crazy. invited over, nigga. That nigga lied oh. with a yeah. straight. The lie just. <laughs> that's, 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 that's Why the fuck I gotta lie to a room full of this niggas? Nigga's lying. About who the fuck I'm eating seafood with? This nigga's lying. <laughs> You're not lying to us. You lied to the viewers. <laughs> oh, I don't. Get... Nah, I'm just fine. Ain't no viewer in this motherfucking audience. I got to worry about. I'm Gucci. Me too. Not even on the sneak. <laughs> that had to look like. No, not even no. the secret behind the scenes one. I'm trying to find a bay. That's my that's my uh goal for the year. I'm I ain't stinking in 2024. I wasn't stinking in 2023. I ain't stinking in 2024 yeah. either for real though. I'm trying to I'm gonna find me a little yeah this year. Oh my gosh. A little yeah. Yeah, I get you one, man. Vacations is lit. Yeah, I need one by my birthday. For whatever this trip I go for my birthday. So you going back I got to go the... see your son that's overseas? Here we go with this bullshit. I don't have no kids overseas. What country you going to? I believe you do. What country you going to? I don't have no fucking kids overseas. Where, what country you going to? I don't know yet. I don't. I I, I literally just yeah, thought. Look, bro, you ain't got to lie to me. Just no, I don't know where I'm going yet. Because I was out of the country and they was like, yeah, we can be supported fully off of like $250 a month. Like, mm. We can live good. And I was like, that's all it takes for a whole family? Two fifty. <laughs> 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 And not even U.S. two fifty, like I two fifty. No, no, it was U.S. two fifty. No, no, but no, I don't. No, uh, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm, I, I really just started planning. So I do know I'm, I'm, so I do know I'm, I'm leaving the country though for sure. I don't know where I'm going yet though. I know that's all right. So it, de- it just depends. You leaving the country when? For six. It's in June. Uh, where did you say you're going? I don't know yet. For my birthday, she was asking about that. Now I was like, I don't, I don't know what, like, what the plan is. I mean, I know I'm going somewhere. I just don't know where. Yeah. I got mad shameless promotions at the end of this. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind going back to Vegas, but I'm not doing that shit by myself again. I want to go back it to Vegas. It ain't the same. You do? We need to just do we another. We should go to Vegas. We should do a group trip. Vegas. Do we have to wait for your birthday, though? You said go for Juneteenth? Because our birthdays are coming up. Yeah, ours are coming up. Let's go. Let's I just need to know out. now so I can take it off. Can I go yeah. with y'all? When you going home to Guatemala? I'm a fucking nigga. <laughs> <You're> for fuck, <laughs> I ain't never been to Guatemala. I'm a real nigga. I'm from here. From Panama. I'm from here. The gutter, gutter. You from Panama? What? Bread and untoasted I said, butter. I said she's from Panama. Not me. No. I'm a real nigga. I ain't <laughs> from not me. Panama. Realest nigga here. You from Papua New Guinea, right? <laughs> like, now I know your people. Wow, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild, crazy. Yeah. Now I know his people's from Jamaica. But yeah. But now nah, I mean, I don't know yet though. I'm gonna figure something out. Let but I'm definitely, know. I'm I'm definitely flying somewhere. But y'all niggas' birthdays before my shit in June. Y'all shit is back to back. Right. Your shit is coming up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My shit a little different. Your shit so. March or April? No, I, March the 29th. Okay. Because I be yeah. I, I just know that Aries yeah. shit. I don't know. I'm a Pisces. No, I know. I'm talking about him. Uh, him so and my know, him and my Pisces. sons. 
Huh? Y'all assholes. Yeah, because you a water yeah. sign like me. That I am. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna deny that. I'm an asshole. Pisces women is. Yeah, I'm a love boy. Y'all asshole. niggas are some I mean, other shit. The sweetest woman you ever met in your life. Yeah, and the, no, I believe they sweet. The they, sweetest they, woman in the world. They dangerous too. Could cool. be the meanest woman in the world. Woman. We can be. Yeah. Can be. Y'all fucking are. <laughs> my daughter's a Pisces. I saw fear. All, all signs are the fucking same. No, six of my exes are Pisces. No, I'm Gemini. starting to realize yeah, that I'm not the problem. Shit. They all do the same shit, just a little bit more, a little bit less. Like, and it's like the most, every every one you meet does the other shit to the more extreme. Like Gemini, like, like it's a, people split personalities. No. A lot of people got split personalities. Yeah, but Gemini's are the worst. Gemini's they just hey, look the most. Yeah. Man, come on, Gemini. Hey, sorry. I'm trying to take I'm on your side, bro. My wife is a Gemini. They, they fu- y'all fucking crazy. Yeah, my daddy is Gemini. So. A Slimini. A Slimini. A Quimini. <laughs> 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 a lot of shit. I thought that nigga was <laughs> A Slimini, a Quimini. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I'm with my son. It's just him and I. And the it's earth just is flat. Us. Mm-hmm. You say what? And the earth is flat. I mean, in certain places. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. It's elevated in others. Is we talking about fucking tonight? Let's get into it. Pam, what is our... We weren't even going to be talking about fucking. Pam, I'm not talking about fucking. I'm talking about fucking. Horny nigga detected. Horny <laughs> <Okay>. nigga detected. <laughs> The fact that you had there on it. Yeah, I wasn't. I <laughs> Cause how this nigga just come? We talking about fucking tonight? Yeah. Horny nigga. Horny nigga. Horny nigga. <laughs> Again, the fact that you even had that on the sound bite. Wow. <laughs> you got a lot going on, my friend. A lot of spare time. <laughs> oh, nigga, wait till I get. Uh, you's a freaky ass nigga. <laughs> oh, wait till I get up there. Every time somebody do some wild shit, can you download? They get in there. Have you been swallowed? Oh, yeah. I was looking for that shit. I'm gonna find it. That yeah. shit is gonna be up here. You need that. I definitely need the piece. Of <laughs> you right. You motherfucking right. Mm. Mm. Oh man. So what we got? What you got for us? I didn't have a sex question. What? I'm in a well, group. I don't want to talk about sex. I'm in a group. I can just scroll through and ask random topics. Ask, ask a random one. <laughs> ask one so we can talk about it. Oh no, I, I got a topic though. Uh, it was the question. Um, so it was this clip I seen. I cannot find a fucking clip. I've been looking for this shit for like two hours. It don't exist. Um, no, it did. That's what made me pose it. So um, it, was it was a wedding. Um, they had a wedding and shit. And then mine. at the reception, the bridesmaid, one of the bridesmaids was giving her speech. And in the middle of the speech, like she confessed her love to the groom. Mm. <laughs> Like this shit was crazy. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but my, but the scenario was like, like. The fuck would you do in a situation like that? The fuck you mean? Have, first of all, as the groom, has like the as a, so, I know what you would do as a woman. No, <laughs> no I ain't got to do shit. My nigga. family, it's a rap. Hold on, hold on, repeat that. Wait, what? Yeah, so yeah. at the, at the reception, like. yeah. Okay, so they, you know, at the wedding, so we already married. We didn't already set our vows and not doing everything. Yeah, bitch, you heard the part. So when it, it wasn't. Said, yeah, so it was. That was at the reception. So it was like during the speech. You know what I'm saying? And during the speech, she like. Like, yeah. But you ain't hear that part where like, does anybody have anything to say or speak now forever? Hold your peace. Whatever the fuck they say when you get married, I ain't never married. I'm sure they say something to the effect. What? I ain't even worried. Maybe wow. she's seen them party and shit. Does anybody? Does anybody? Oh, this supposed to be me. Does anybody have, me. Yeah, does anybody have anything against these two getting married? That's some wild shit though. Like, like it's in the vows. I be hearing that shit in movies. She wouldn't make it out to reception. Poor thing. And I wouldn't have to get up. From the Poor table. thing. You Poor thing question. is crazy. You gotta ask a real question, right? And I hate to throw niggas under the bus. But as the groom, was he fucking her? Like, I mean, well, I'm sure we don't know from the short I'm clip. I'm pretty though. sure. There had to be something there. Like, why was she there? Like, Not necessarily. No, she was a bridesmaid. Not necessarily. Oh. She, was a, she was one of the, I don't know Listen. if she was like the maid of honor, but she was like definitely crazy. one of the bridesmaids. Yeah, so, yes, women are crazy. Women be crazy. Also crazy, but not crazy enough, like, to have, like, a weird obsession with someone to the point where they don't see you like that at all. Mm-hmm. And you just like, I'm about to fucking ruin this whole fucking marriage. Just no, all this shit. Crazy, yo. I'm a woman. I ain't going to tell me. Because I've dealt with some crazy bitches. You dealt with them. But I'm saying, you. there's certain shit that you're going to do. Like, some people, when you hear about people being, like, crazy-ass stalkers, like. Y'all fake pregnancies. I don't so fake a motherfucker. <laughs> like, no, I'm saying, y'all. But you're a woman. So, you got if you go wear it, you got to wear it. 
Like, so y'all fake pregnancy. So ruining a wedding behind some made up love in your head is beyond y'all. I don't. Yeah, think so. I think that's that's. There's no way she would have done that. There wasn't. There's no way. And even if I did fuck up. That's some shit you see on Lifetime. I'm a lie. That's I'm not a lie. Listen, life. I don't care if I did. I'm, I'm a lie to that bitch's face. You hear me? To her face. I just got married. I just don't see anybody clearly. I mean, doing that. You're ruining a friendship. You're in front of. <laughs> Yo, yo, family probably fucking there. Ain't no telling how close y'all are. You mean to tell me that you, you need, really ruined you better all have that me on video. off of an obsession from somebody that I mean, don't they, see you in that way? I don't. See they it. won't like us. She could have got they drunk. Was, they was white, so they, you know, they ain't really just gonna throw no, hands and shit. It's that niggas that like do that. shit that like, yeah, your homegirls and your homeboys look at your relationship and be like, damn, I wish I had that shit. Yeah, and no, you start telling them all the good shit be, your person do for them. It's like, like the damn, suck ass that's a niggas different. who be going behind their homeboy back, telling the nigga girl shit. Like, oh yeah, you know, we was at the club, he was on the like just corny shit like that. Girl, you deserve better. I think that like, there you, was something going on. I do. I think there's something yeah. going on because you you're not you're not doing all. Yeah, because like, mainly listen. mainly it's like a nigga that like would do some irrational shit and try to holler at your it girl. Like matter. if a woman does that, like that nigga definitely hit. It doesn't matter if I did or if I didn't because. At my wedding, if you don't have me on video <laughs> fucking you, I'm going to deny it. Right? I'm going to deny it. That's one, right? But let's say I'm really yeah, but not. you're not about to ruin my life. You're not about to ruin my life. Because clearly if I was fucking you, you, I made my choice. Like, and yeah. you clearly yeah, can see you the ain't choice about that to I ruin made. My fucking life. You got to relax. I mean, like, you got to think about how that's going to be. You're at this reception with family or friends and everybody. Nobody's fucking with you after that. You were not about to ruin all of that. As my wife, if you you're don't not beat ruining the shit all heard, that for somebody that you that. hope that they feel the same way, <laughs> you're not doing that so what? shit. As my wife, if you don't beat the shit out of her, I think I want this marriage. My all. family would do it. I wouldn't even have to somebody get up for that had to put hands table. on her. My whole fucking family gonna be her ass. It's a wrap. And I'm just be my family like, trail is a bit, so I, I know. Throw something at her too. Shit. <laughs> 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 Me too. Like I'm in this shit too. Like bitch, you're crazy. Bitch. Yeah, right. You want chill, lying bitch. I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'm definitely calling you a lying bitch, right? <laughs> without question. No, nah, but that's why. So, what if like, what if like your ex pop up? Why would they? Like, not they won't invite it. Like they pop up and they on some shit. Like yo, <laughs> or like yo, imagine like your side pop up. I didn't pull it to my ex's wedding. I pulled. So it to when my they do like the, do anybody if anybody is against this and they be like yo I am. I will say that, like, like... what are you doing here? Hey, get this motherfucker I've, out of here. <laughs> I think it's like a... a I'm confessing a, my luck. No, but what are you doing here? <laughs> like, it's a... So I got a wild story, I'm going to tell you. It's hey, a I was strapped. Length length wedding, in between. So. Now, you busting somebody's wedding? No, that's you, wild crazy. <laughs> no. You busting somebody's wedding? Like, I've yo. never had sex at a wedding. I had sex before a graduation from college, but never a wedding. But listen, like, I've had... She squirted away. Like, people pop up, like... As fuck. I can... <laughs> Bro, I had to show the graduation as a white state of my fucking dog. Like, and the crazy my shit. My girl who graduated no, parents are going to be like, what the no, fuck? Like, and the crazy shit, dress pants show everything. They're black <laughs> dress pants, bro. <laughs> just, oh, and it was black. Yeah, y'all, dress pants don't have no kind of retention chop, at all. I chopped that shit. that off. I no, chopped that shit down. It's going to make it worse. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to make it worse. One of the wildest places I ever had sex. I chopped that shit down right in the middle of Nova State graduation in the bathroom. Like, mm -hmm. in I mean, bathroom, I mean, that's... Mm. It, was, it was just in the middle of graduation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they calling your name like, about. oh shit! They calling the G's. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> they could get the sprinting. It won't end up. We was just there for our homegirl. Oh, you won't end the See, no. it would have been wider if you was in the graduation. Oh, that's, that's crazy, man. <laughs> if you was in the graduation, that would have been our homegirl. See my pants. She was like, yeah, y'all niggas is nasty as fuck. I know y'all. That's doing. crazy. Like, yeah, I mean, we was off, just nasty as fuck. You're our friend, <laughs> like, you know, we do. Like, you know. Got we still hit the graduation though. We made it. Yeah. I got you. I recorded you walking across stage. Like I, I, we didn't. I'm lying. We honestly didn't. Like, we, yeah. oh, but nobody's actually gonna ask you to see the video of you walking, like, like them walking across stage. Bro, I had on. A, so you, it was the worst shit ever. I had on black pants and a bright ass pink dress shirt, bro. Like a Cameron bright pink, like bubblegum pink dress. Shirt. You know my big ass in a, in pink is already bright enough. Like I like Kirby. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm lying. I was fly as a bitch in the in the pink dress, but. It just made us stand out. It was bad. Man. I have no idea how we got here. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Going to somebody's wedding is crazy, though. Because oh, yeah. we were still on the subject. Like, going to somebody's wedding is wild. I've had people pop up. I can tell you that the last people that I've entertained, if I said one didn't pop up after we stopped talking, I'll be lying to you. But they pop up. But it's like, 
they gonna do that shit for a little while. Then they gonna stop. You ain't about to wait. So we ain't been talking yeah. for years. And then be like, I'm gonna go fuck this wedding up. But you and know what though? Up. It's crazy because people do that shit. In movies. I, no. How long? Not. I gonna say. See, how, I'm gonna tell you. You've been, you been nah. single for a while, right? Like yeah. legitimately single. Nah, you just put you, a, you just put, like when they make the engagement announcement. If you they Facebook friend, you just put the sad face reaction. I done DJ weddings for people. <laughs> wow. I, I, listen, I've never showed it to a wedding. I have showed up to a divorce hearing, and that shit was, I showed up to a divorce hearing with ex, because she called me and was like, let me get divorced from this nigga. I need you to show up. Granted, I had been fucking her for a little yeah. bit before they got divorced. So that was- Oh, you you home really record. went as a support system. I did. I, but I didn't have, that's a whole other story. She got real, like, she did the most blatant shit in this courtroom, and I I can't even tell y'all on camera. I'm gonna tell y'all off camera. It's that blatant. Hey, like, y'all know I tell y'all a lot of shit on camera. No, I um, want to hear this. Yeah, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> a mental note for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this shit. Uh, um, so I never showed it to a wedding, but I've definitely shown a divorce. What was I saying before that? Divorce court. <laughs> <laughs> so what did she want you to do there? At her divorce hearing? Yeah. Just be a support. Did she want like you to support? say something? No, no, no. So just, again, she's like so, she's literally she wanted to show that she already had another nigga. And granted, this was an oh, ex. That's some petty shit. This was an ex from like ten years ago who I rekindled with. We started fucking yeah. with each other. Mm. She was married. I was in a relationship at nine. So he was with all the petty shit. It was with all the petty shit because it didn't wow. even matter. And she, she didn't even live here. She lived in Atlanta. My and when so, you know, like I know that nigga can't whoop my ass, like at all. He can't, and that was the whole thing. He can't beat my ass. Like I know this is not the factor. But like while we were sitting there waiting for their the divorce hearing to be called, she just said the most outrageous shit. And I'm not gonna tell you because that's the real outrageous part about this. Like, I need to know. Why the most, fuck you bring it I, I up? Need to know now. Like, so why did you bring it up? I'm gonna tell you off camera. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> You, you, we we'll just bleep you the shit out. I was like, yeah, we'll legitimately okay, bleep like, yeah. it out. So we were sitting there in court, and she was like, <laughs> bro, like But I love it. <laughs> but I'm looking at this bitch like, I'm telling you right now, if I was that nigga sitting behind you and I heard this, bitch, I would go upside your motherfucking head. Oh, like, yeah. That's what she wanted. I just dove, she, I'd have dove like the nigga. Like, she the, knew. I would have dove like the nigga dove at that fucking judge like, over there. <laughs> shit. I was like, oh, bitch, hold on. Wait, you didn't tell me you was bringing me here for... Bitch, this nigga might shoot me in the parking lot. In the parking lot, bitch. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't even have nothing to say. You might shoot Outrageous. Because we used to meet, like, she traveled for work, so we used to meet in, like, random hotels and shit. So she hey, and now I have to bleep this podcast. Okay. It all should have been done. <laughs> it all should have been bleeped out. My God. But yeah. So that to, absolutely. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. That is so disrespectful. I lived a wild life. That's shit, wild. I thought I my shit was crazy. That shit... God bless you. I miss her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everything reminds me of her. Every, listen, I miss her. A lot of great times with her. She's yeah, no, nah, that's wild. Yeah. That's wild as shit. Uh, and so I've ne- where we get back to? I've never been to a wedding, but I've been to a divorce hearing. <laughs> that's swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed <laughs> up? <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, we go ahead and get into these final thoughts. We gonna get up out of here. Good episode. What y'all got? You know, we gonna always start with you, Pam. Dang. I was like, you gotta get a guest host chance. Yeah, you go first. Get your shit off. So at the end of every episode, we have final thoughts. It don't have to be nothing that pertains to this episode itself. It could just be anything that you want to leave the viewers. It could be something positive. It could be something negative. You can be advice, whatever is on your mind. Uh, I just want to know why everybody in these, every store I done went to today, somebody's out there selling weed to me. <laughs> they be outside selling weed? Yeah, that's what I'm like, what? Yeah, take my number, bro, bro. No. Man. I still respect the hustle. No, the crazy yeah. shit, if you go to any tourist city, Philly, LA, New York, it's going to be a nigga that's going to walk. Got the gas, bro. Yeah, but this yeah, is here, yeah, but, though. Yeah, but, and then come past you like a motherfucking GTA character. Yeah, got that gas on. If you go to New got York. Got that gas on. Nah, bro, stop me. You, like, she smoking, too. How you too? doing? Like, nah, bro, what the fuck? If you go to New York, it be niggas in Times Square set up on tables. Yeah. I yeah. mean, because it's legal there now. Yeah. But I'm talking about, like, before all the legalities oh, and yeah. shit, like, Niggas will walk past you, skateboard past you, anything. Got that weed, gas on me. Weed is not hard to find. Weed is also not gas hard to Gas man, gas man. Yeah, I just flew here. There are a few. There are a few states. There not even states. There are a few anywhere in the states. I say you can fly weed. Typically about an ounce or less. Don't go yeah. overboard. But 
out of the country, there are a lot of countries that you can still fly to with your weed and get through. There are a few countries that I would absolutely not recommend flying to with your weed. Clearly, Dubai is probably the top of that list. Um, you can't even drink out that motherfucker. You better not take no weed. Don't ever. Russia. Don't, <laughs> Russia. There are a few countries. I mean, if you're black, don't even go to Russia. But if you go into the fucking right, Caribbean, yeah. like, it's yeah, okay, bro. You, you can take good. some weed, just put that shit in your sock. Ain't nobody stressing about that shit. Yeah. I Jamaica, they you. might look at you sideways because they don't like chemical in their shit. Yeah. But, <laughs> and you but the weed use, in Jamaica is not. The weed in Jamaica is super trash. Yeah, that's that it's shit. what everybody think it is, bro. It's, it's Trust not. me, I know. No, it's exactly we what we know. think it is. It is <laughs> no, it's not. Like, you think. I, no, I'm talking about what we, well, cause we know. I'm saying this is exactly what oh, we yeah. think it is because we know that shit is not. You gotta smoke a, a I zip to get I got high. excited, nigga. My first time I went to Jamaica, that nigga gave me a branch of weed. That shit like the actual leaf. It was and you had to smoke big. that whole motherfucking thing. What? I couldn't even get through that whole shit because this shit is garbage. I'm about to leave this shit here for it somebody else to from smoke. The earth. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's exactly what it, you exactly know what that shit tastes like. You, it came from the the earth. <laughs> you no just chemical. That shit up. But nigga, can you please put the chemical <laughs> in there? <laughs> Put something in this shit. Put something in this shit. Some man. jerk seasoning. <laughs> something, nigga. Like, yeah, Y'all ain't got no curry weed. Because <laughs> oh, this shit. shit. <laughs> Y'all ain't stew no weed or nothing. Like, I just. Something spicy. Nah. Put some spices in this bitch or something. Like, it's just yeah, nothing. Yeah, put that, put that bonnet pepper in there. Some <laughs> shit. You mad at the everyday outside hustlers, man? <sighs> yeah, man. It was just trash today. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm good, son. Is it because you every, smoked every, weed every and that store. shit felt like a waste every of your store. time? Yeah, because they would have put it in your face and everything. Oh, look, check this out, bro. Bro, I could be the feds. I could be anybody right now. You just... Well, it's legal. And if they just say, check this out, they're not, like... They're not literally saying, yo, I'm trying to sell this to you. You're going to jail. <laughs> bro, they like pop-up ads. Yeah. You Back can... in the day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. The porn pop-up? <laughs> hey, yeah, right. That's how it was to me today. I'm like, yo. So niggas be pulling know. up to you, you wouldn't last 30 seconds smoking this blunt. <laughs> Man, yo, I got my, I got my kids. Son. Let's just stop doing That's disgusting. <laughs> That's, disgusting. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Yeah. Because the fact that you went there, yeah, yeah, the you need to play the this nigga horny shit for yourself. Because <laughs> that shit is out of line. Now, don't not give yourself the fucking sound shit. Hit that shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, sir. That nigga is disgusting. Bruh. You know what websites you be on? Mm. Uh, Brazzers is free, huh? No, fuck. Is it still free? Brazzers oh, got to me. It's not down. Brazzers don't have my aesthetic. I stopped watching porn. It'd be too bright. That's good. Oh, well, let me lie. I didn't completely stop watching porn. <laughs> let me, let me Cut back. Let me Let's start going to porn sites. <laughs> Twitter. Twitter X. Yeah, you um, don't really need sites no more. Yeah. Uh, Twitter, Reddit, and you good. I hate three minute porn. Fire in the hole. That's my problem. <laughs> I really hate three minute porn. Like when I was watching porn, my filter would be like ten to twenty minutes because I need to see some. You did like, the backstory. Video. Yeah, like oh, I you want the whole foreplay. Yeah, 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 I, can't, I, can't, fuck that. I hate that shit. That's, that should be yeah. Twitter porn be forty five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to run the forty five seconds back. <laughs> Go to the next. Shit cut off right <laughs> at the good part. <laughs> Ain't got time for that. But yeah. What you got, fam? Um, shit could always be worse. I know that sounds fact. crazy, no, but it can, yeah, it, it can always be, be worse. fucking worse. I used to say that, and then I'm like, yo, I'm going to stop challenging shit to get no, worse. No, it's not a challenge, it's but like, I'm just saying shit could always be Tell worse. my life that, because my shit take it as a challenge. No, right. Yeah, no, shit that, could that, be worse. That, that's that's like, what? Shit could always be worse, though. It's, I, it's a statement like, what else could happen? That's the shit that fucks I'm me. never right. asking that shit, ever. Because that shit is going to What else? Next? Oh, well, you want to know? It. I got you. <laughs> I had this shit waiting for the next six months, but don't worry. We'll roll it up to right now. <laughs> so, no, but you're right. It could always be worse. Shit could always be worse. But, yeah. Kyle, what you got? Have a good fucking year, yo. Focus on yourself. Matter of fact, I'm going to read you. I didn't I didn't happen to pin this, but somebody pinned it and I posted it on my story earlier and I thought it was really kinda encouraging for people. I like to be motivational in the morning and shit. That was his good morning text. Good morning, yeah. beautiful text. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely said a good morning, beautiful text this morning. No. <laughs> no grand, I, grand rising, <clears throat> sunshine. Uh kill me if I ever text Grand Rising. <laughs> The abundance of love that you embody. The abundance of love that you embody, my black queen. I can never be a grand rising nigga. That shit is crazy. <laughs> um, but boom, here you go. 
The day you begin to make the greatest impact on the world is the day you show up for yourself as yourself. It's okay to be confused. It's okay to be broken. Oh, wait up. Sorry, I'm a little drunk. I gotta, I gotta read my finger. I no, I he will pass the phone. What I say? was. No. <laughs> can, you, can you pronounce that word? No, no I love it. I love, I love put, my. I went to know for public schools. God damn it. <laughs> you you God. pronounce that word. Thank God me. I didn't do that. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes got a little crossed with the lines. All right. The day you begin to make the greatest impact on the world is the day you show up for yourself as yourself. It's okay to be confused. It's where you begin to learn new things. It's okay to be broken. It's begin. It's where you begin to heal. It's okay to be frustrated. It's where you start to make more authentic decisions. It's okay to be sad because if we're brave enough, we can hear our heart's wisdom through. It's okay to be whatever you are right now. No more hiding. You are always worthy. And once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous right. Hold on, my phone cut off. Spontaneous delight and any experience that reveals the human spirit. Choose every day to forgive yourself. You're human, flawed, and most of all worthy of love. Mm. That was beautiful. Okay. That was beautiful. <laughs> Nigga, whatever you fuck you going through, yo. It's all right, yo. Like, whatever you're going through in life, that shit is going to be all right. Whatever stage you're in, it's normal. You're not the first person to go through that stage of life. You're not going to be the last person. Just be true to yourself. Be true to yourself, love yourself, and the rest of the work that shit out, man. Yeah. Mine is shit that you can't change. Don't fucking matter. I'm a big so I have a statement to that. That's it. The things that I can change, I don't worry about because if I have the ability to change, I'm a it, fucking, I'm a, I'm I can a fucking just change it. it. That's pretty much where I was going with it. Yeah, the so things that, that I don't have the ability to change, I don't stress about because they're out of my control. There's nothing I can do about this shit. It's literally nothing I can do about it. That's it. That's that's literally where I was going I try with not it. To so. stress, bro. That doesn't mean I don't stress, but yeah, it's easier to. said than done. Yeah. But like, if you, it's. If you can't change it, is 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 literally no reason for you to you keep putting punches. yourself through it mentally. So, and sometimes the things that you feel like you can't control end up working in your favor. That's a fact. So man, like yeah, these, that's like these basketball games. Nah, I ain't gonna talk about the parlay. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's it. You know, we 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 back, we back, we back, we back, we back. So we'll see y'all next episode. Bye. Peace.